dear friends welcome to the problem solving session 2 on normal distribution in the previous video in session 1 we solved the problem when mean and variance is given how to find the area or the probability in today's session like two informations regarding the area or probability is given so for this we use the normal distribution table so my aim is to find mu1 sigma and we know the relation z is equal to x minus mu by sigma so first of all we have to find what is x and z it is easy to find x from the given information now we have to find the z so before that we have to know what is the information given in the table the first column given in the table is the z values and the first row is the second decimal places and all the values which is given inside the table is going to be my area for example suppose you take 0.2019 so between 0 to 0.53 okay because this is 0.5 and this is 3 so between 0 to 0.53 the area is going to be 2019 so now the area will be given from this we are going to find the z value let us go into the problem 31% items are under 45 and 8% items are over 64 so using this two information we are going to find two equations okay so two equations and both the equations will have the relation between mu1 sigma then while we solve this two equations we can find the required mu1 sigma 31% items are under 45 so now we have to know what is under and what is over so under means it go left over means it goes right so according to the problem we have to choose the region so the first information given to us is what 31% items are under 45 and before that we have to know this this area is 50% and this area is 50% so if 31% means it comes on the left side okay so i'll draw a line z equal to 0 infinity minus infinity so now whenever i take any point between 0 to minus infinity it is always going to be a negative point so i will say this point as z equal to minus z1 so to find mu1 sigma that is actually we have to find the equation the information given in the question x is 45 and the second information given in the question z is minus z1 31% items are under 45 so under means it goes on the left region so this region is 31% so the information given to us is probability of z less than minus z1 is 31% now my ultimate aim is to find the point z1 but now what is the problem here the area given between minus z1 to minus infinity the first issue is the value is negative the second issue the area is going up to minus infinity so i want to find z1 instead of going to this yellow region i can go into the other region red which is also connecting the point z1 to 0 so i am taking this minus z1 less than z less than 0 because here also it involves z1 since the curve is normal it is symmetric about the line z equal to 0 i can immediately say 0 less than z less than z1 is also 19% that is 0.19 now the area is given as 0.19 we have to find the corresponding z1 value for this area okay so go to the table and we can find the z1 value 
so it is need not to be always whatever the percentage given it is exactly in the table we have to find the the closest value you can see here 0 0.1879 and 0 0.1915 both are very close to 0.19 so 0 0.19 i can see one value 0 0.1879 the other value 0 0.1915 now compare this while we compare this is very close to 0 0.19 because it is 15 points away here it is 21 so i can take this is very close to 0.19 now we have to write the corresponding z value so we say it as z1 so 0 0.5 second decimal is 0 so z1 is simply 0.5 good we have found the z value my z1 is 0 0.5 but very important my z is what negative because it is in the left hand side so z is equal to minus z1 that is z is minus 0 0.5 so i know the information now x and z so now it is my aim to find the equation from the given information. Now from the relation z is equal to x minus mu by sigma, z value is minus 0 0.5, x value is 45 minus mu by sigma minus 0.5 sigma is equal to 45 minus mu. Finally I will get what? mu minus 0 0.5 sigma is equal to 45. So this is the equation I get from the first information given in the question. Similarly using the second information I have to find my second equation and solving 1 and 2 we will get mu 1 sigma which completes the problem. Let us go into the second information. 8% items are over 64. So over 64 means it should come on the right side. So now it is going to be the point is somewhere here. So since it is right hand side, it is going to be what? Positive point, it can't be negative. So I will take Z2 because I use Z1 already. I will take this as Z2. And now let us shade the region. 8% points are over 64. So immediately x equal to 64 and z is equal to z2. Our aim is to find z2. Again what? z2 to infinity is going to be trouble for me because I don't have values. I have finite values in the table. So let me consider again the red region because this region also involves the point z2 with 0. I can find this area. We will write one by one. The given information in the question is z greater than z2 8% and this red area is 42%. So I don't want this. I want this which help me to find the z2 value. So I will take it as 42%. So 42% is simply what? 0 0.42. Now as we shall go to the table and find the z2 value. 0.42. Yeah, 0 0.4207, 0 0.4192. And it is very easy. 0 0.4207 is very close to 0 0.42 compared to this 0 0.4192. So I will directly take this. So now my z2 value is 1.4 and this data lies in the second decimal 1. So I am taking z2 is 1.41 guys. Therefore we get z2 is equal to 1.41 z is equal to x minus mu by sigma 
we are going to substitute the value for z it is going to be 1.41 is equal to my x value is 64 minus mu by sigma we can write the equation directly what it is mu plus 1.41 sigma is equal to 64 okay i'm just cross multiplying this and taking the mu to the other side so i get the second equation this is my second equation just now we found our first equation what it is mu minus 0.5 sigma is equal to 45 now with this two informations i can easily found the mu 1 sigma value so either you solve with your calculator or you can solve manually choices yours so now we are in the final stage after solving we have to write mu value that is 49.9 and sigma value is going to be 9.9 .9. you write two decimal or four decimal according to your calculator and we will round up this and we get mu is equal to 50 sigma is equal to 10 if they ask variance find the sigma square hence the problem let us solve the next problem so in this problem the two informations given are 7 percent items under 35 again 89 percent items are also under 63 so this problem is little different from the previous problem so as usual we are going to find mu and sigma square using the help of z equal to x minus mu by sigma okay now let us see so seven person item so it comes on the left side so i am going to draw the line z since it is in left side my z is going to be some negative value minus z1 this is going to be z equal to 0 positive infinity negative infinity now since the information given is what 7 percent under so this is my yellow region x is given as 35 and z is going to be minus z1 that we have to find from the table next it is very tough as i said in the previous problem i can't go for the yellow region so i will offer this red region which involve z1 now let us write the informations one by one probability of z less than minus z1 is 7% it's going to be seven percent if this is seven percent i can say this is going to be 43 percent so i'm going to take probability of minus z1 less than z less than zero that is going to be 43 percent now by the symmetric property i can rewrite this as what to the positive region since my table contains only positive values so 43 percent so now let us go to the table and find the z1 value so now we have to see which is very close to 0 0.43 0 0.4306 4292 and it is easy to see that 0 0.4306 is very close to my given area 0.43 so my z1 is going to be 1.4 second decimal is 8 so 1.48 so z1 is 1.48 z is equal to minus z1 minus 1.48
Now I can find the equation very easily. So we know the relation z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. So z value is minus 1.48, x value is 35 minus mu by sigma. So I can directly write mu minus 1.48 sigma is equal to 35. So this is my equation 1. Now in the similar way, I have to find the equation 2 and then I have to solve the problem. The second information given to us is 89% and many students will do this mistake because in the previous video whenever I say under, okay, SAR said under, let us go to the left hand side. So this is the common mistake done by the students. Now we have to think a little. The percentage is 2 AV, 89, okay. This area is 50 and this area is 50. Whenever I say 89, it have to be come in the right hand side region. Okay, so my 89% will lie somewhere here. Now the problem is easy because it is in the right hand side. So Z, I will take it as positive Z2 and I can crack the problem easily. So now again, the information given is under. So under means it goes left hand side. Now it covers the full area from Z2 to minus infinity. But I am giving two different color. Obviously now you guess what is the reason. Yes, because my table involves only what? The values from 0 to 4. So I don't need this part. So without this part I can easily solve the problem. Okay, let us do it. So x equal to 63, z is going to be z2 because it is in the positive side. The information given to us is what? Probability of z less than z2 is 89%. This 89% I have split it into what? 50% on the left and then 39% on the right. So now my interest is to found z2. So I will take this red region alone. It is going to be simply 39%. That's it guys. Let us go into the table, find the value, finish the problem. So 39%. My area is going to be 0 0.39. So which is closer to 0 0.39? 0 0.3907 7 which is very close compared to this so I will take this so now my z2 is going to be 1.2 and the second decimal is 3 so 1.23 z2 value is 1.23 and my x value is 63 z is equal to x minus mu by sigma now my z value is 1.23 is equal to 63 minus mu by sigma. So I can directly write the equation mu this time it is plus 1.23 sigma is equal to 63. So now I have both the equations in my hand. Equation 1 and 2. The first equation is 1.48 sigma is equal to 35. So this is equation 1. So solving 1 and 2, I can get the value mu is equal to 50.33 and sigma is equal to 10.3. So we find the mean and standard deviation. If Variance is asked, take the square of sigma. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and support our channel. Thank you.